Hello everyone. So here we are in Yosemite and you can see I already started to run ScreenFlow uh, to do this screen capture and uh, that took the, uh, the first screen and then here in the middle it opened Apple Store already opened on the uh, second screen and then here it is on the first screen where I have this going. Now this is one that I haven't published yet because I just finished shooting it before the Yosemite upgrade. So what I'm going to try and do is now uh, publish to YouTube. And you can see my process of uh, publishing to YouTube uh, using the software that I'm currently using to record this video with. A self-referential tutorial. 1080D is good. I usually put it into education or sometimes how-to or sometimes science and t technology. But these are my three groups, not that YouTube uses that stuff that much anymore. And uh, let's see, this might be a video blogging one just because it's uh, not really educational in nature. Uh, what I'm talking about is Yosemite Upgrade. What else is this? Uh, this is a little bit about Git, uh, the Pipulate project, and I think these are actually more like uh, tags that will help me remember uh, what the video was about. I could uh, I actually can't play it with that modal thing open. Um, it was about Flask because it handled the restart, so that also makes it about Python and I'm using Vim. So, uh, getting started and prompted to, well, it's Yosemite upgrade prompt before code with Mike. Friday. Hey, it lets me do that whole thing. Description, don't need it right now. I'll optimize that later. This has enough to get me started. So I just hit publish. And voila! I have begun to publish. And uh, what I usually do at this point is I put that publishing screen at the very end. I don't need this many screens yet. I don't even think I need this. It's interesting it opens the App Store automatically. What I'm going to do is test my old uh, needed things. And since I'm going to be running local, what I'm really doing, I guess, is uh, opening a terminal uh, full screen. Uh, ls. Uh, I see a pipulate directory there. cd pipulate ls. That's it. Git pull. Make sure I'm running on the latest, which I am because I did that just before I made the last video. Uh, but now I can start opening tabs. And in this one, for example, I'll go uh, CD Pipulate. Oh, I'm already in that. It started with my CD of my last directory. That's an interesting feature. The, uh, the shell on OS X is, is actually pretty good. You got your multi tabs there, which right off the bat is better than Windows. And it's a real Unix shell. Uh, you got all the commands there, so PWD. To get this kind of stuff on uh, Windows, I had to install something called, um, not Sigwin, but MinGW in combination with MSYS, M-S-Y-S. And those give you a Unix shell-like uh, window on Windows, or a Unix shell-like terminal window, I should say, on Windows. But it's just built in to the Mac because the Mac is Unix underneath all that OS X stuff. So now I go, uh, I go Python, pipulates. So I've got one terminal where I'm running the program. I've got one terminal where I can do Vim. Now you know these two things are so different. I'm going to try something a little bit different now. Let's go down to 80 columns and see if there's room for two. There's not really. So 
window. Let's see if we can change its font. Hmm, interesting. Oh, shell. <laughs> I guess it's preferences. Text. Monaco 16. Monaco good for mono spacing, 16 bad for getting anything more than just uh, that one shell on your window. Whoops, 18 is not the right direction. We want, there's 13. Twelve. Thirteen looks pretty good. I can code on that. Close out. Terminal. Shell. Use settings as default. Now let's make that go down to uh, 80. Oh, wow. That's why. There, yeah, that's nice. I think I'm going to get be able to get two side by side here. So we'll adjust it to a good size. Move it to where we want it. Say, show use settings as default. Now let's break this tab out and put the two side by side. There we have it. So now we can see the server running at the same time as we vim. Pipulate, and that'll still be big enough for you to see things on the screen. And that's how we do our setting up of our terminal windows for coding. One more little thing, this running the server doesn't need so much screen real estate, especially when we need, let's see, new, new window. Option N, the command N, new window. That's not a new window. Oh, I don't have a shell selected. Shell. New window. Oh, okay. It was the right thing. Just. Oops. Just not. Didn't have the right modality selected. And in this one, we will use for Git or other things. And maybe we'll even have multiple tabs here. So this is going to display all the time. This is going to be one of various tabs. And the upper one will display all the time because it'll show the state of our running web server. I'm happy with that. OK. So next thing. Uh, oh. Having a browser open here. Open browsers help with this kind of development. And next, I think it's time to check whether which version of Lovinix runs on this system. But I think it's getting to be too long of a video, and that's a separate enough subject. And you saw me just get set up for work, and um, there's the publishing of this. It's still 45 minutes or so remaining between before my first video goes up. So this gives you a good feel of the flow of my day on Code with Mike Fridays. I'll talk about everything from the screen casting software I'm using to upgrades to new operating systems on Mac and other platforms. And uh, then back to the Pipulate project and moving things ahead. So you'll be getting educations on multiple fronts and not just platform specific. You might think of it as platform agnostic as possible, except for Python and enough surrounding stuff to get Python running in a familiar code execution context. That's Pipulate. That's Mike Levin SEO. Uh, that's pretty much uh, an aspect of everything you're going to find from me 
uh, here, aside from my daddy-daughter stuff, which will probably tend to be clustered up around weekends. Uh, tune back in for the rest of Code with Mike Friday on today, November 21st, 2014. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe.